Welcome back. A mobile born rapper who's been in and out of trouble with the law over the past several years now in federal custody on a gun charge. Nashawn Jones, who performs under the name Honeycomb Brazy, is one of three people arrested during a traffic stop earlier this month. Fox News' Brendan Kirby is live at the Breaking News Center with more on this. Brendan, all of this starting at the WK Wilson Bridge on Interstate 65. Yeah, that's right, Lee. It was December 18th. The Mobile County Sheriff's deputy noticed that the sport utility vehicle had tinted windows and pulled it over at exit 22 on I-65 in Crayola. Court records filed last week indicate that law enforcement officers found guns and drugs. An affidavit filed by an FBI task force officer says a sheriff's deputy noticed a 2022 Cadillac Escalade was in the passing lane for too long on Interstate 65 and had tinted windows. The driver was listed as 31-year-old Mobile resident Mason Fuller. Court documents say he was wearing a soft body armor labeled enforcement and had a bulletproof vest inside the vehicle. The passengers were identified as Nashawn Jones, who is known by Honeycomb Brazy and a 39-year-old Houston man named Miguel Hall. According to the affidavit, deputies found a Gerson 9mm pistol near where Fuller was sitting and a Smith & Wesson AR pistol under the third row seat near where Jones and Hall were sitting. All three were prohibited by law from having guns, Fuller because of a protection from abuse order signed by a judge in Georgia, and the other two because of prior felony convictions. The affidavit also alleges that deputies found a partially smoked marijuana cigarette in the ashtray and a liquid medicine bottle that investigators believe may have been a syrupy narcotic drink known as lean. Jones has put out a number of rap music videos depicting guns and violent lyrics. He's been arrested several times, most recently in November, on a charge that he exposed himself to a corrections officer at Mobile County Metro Jail in October 2021. Mobile County District Judge Spiro Cheriogatis dismissed that charge on December 13th after the victim indicated that she didn't want to move forward. That was just five days before the traffic stop on Interstate 65. Jones has experienced the criminal justice system from the other side as well. Investigators say Jones's grandparents were killed in a drive-by shooting and fire in 2022. Investigators believe the killing was revenge against one of Jones's associates. The first murder trial in that shooting is scheduled for May. Jones and his co-defendants in the latest gun case, meanwhile, will appear in U.S. District Court. A date hasn't yet been set. Reporting live from the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News. Welcome back to another episode of the Art of Listener, man, with your boy Cam and your boy Black. What's happening? Where we talk about real shit, real topics, and get real good game. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button, man. Like, comment, whatever. We need it all, man. So what we talking about today, Black? We're we we going to talk about that boy Honeycomb Brazy, man. Man, I'm going to be real. Mm -hmm. All the thing I really know about Honeycomb for real, man, mm -hmm. is... When a nigga be dropping, a nigga be going. You know what I'm saying? He be going, but he be going oh, to fuck hard. up. He repping for Alabama real hard, man. Yeah. And um, to me, I feel like he's probably outside of Peasy, O and B Peasy, uh, and Dobie. Rest mm -hmm. in peace to Dobie. One of my favorites out of out of uh, Alabama. Mm -hmm. uh, Honeycomb putting on for the A, yeah, right. the other A, mm -hmm. Alabama man. He putting on for Bama man. Uh, but I do know. You know, he had some situations with some street shit where, his, you know, his grandparents, unfortunately, got murdered. You know right. what I'm saying? And um, it was real unfortunate, man. And I know he had something going on with Jay Prince, man. But you got to elaborate on me, man. Mm -hmm. Elaborate what was going on because I'm still trying to figure it out. Man, on that Jay Prince, I really don't know what was going on with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking it was about some money. You know what I'm saying? Right, I figured, right. like, he figured... You know, he did all that work when he was out before he got locked up. You know what I'm saying? He wanted he wanted some money or whatever, but I don't really know about that. But, man, him getting locked up for the last time on some gun charges mm -hmm. with two other dudes. And they were, I think, both of them. I'm not sure. But what I was listening to, I think both of them is convicted felon, and they had three guns in the car. So, mm -hmm. really... Then nobody's supposed to be with no gun, you know, right. when they got pulled over. And then I think they got, they were saying, you know, you can't believe everything you hear in the right. blog, right? Because people right. be lying to put shit in it, but say they got caught with a little lean and a little something milk, you know, and a junk. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But I just feel like they ran right home, man. Everybody make mistakes. But goddamn, honey, cold, man. 
You know, I'd be rooting for you and everything. And, and, and how you got out and just went so hard. Right. I'd be wanting you to keep this shit up, home. And you got to think just a little bit more harder, man. Like, you should have had people that had gun license, right. legal guns. You know what I'm saying? And, and I know, I mean, you so hard, man. You can tell a motherfucker, man, hey, man, y'all nigga ride out with me. And if I make it, goddamn, I'm going to take care of y'all. Well, you can have that type of security with you. Niggas will do that, man. You right, know what I'm real. saying? That's real. And that'll keep you out of trouble, man. That lean and that weed, man, that shit can wait till you get wherever you at and you sit down and you get a runner to go get that shit for you. Then you get high, man. All that other shit, man. Y'all y'all got to put that shit. Man, you too valuable. Too, too valuable, man. Like a Tupac or something. You know what I'm saying? And it just upset me to see little shit like that happen. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say Tupac, but yeah, that's a little. Fuck I mean, he, bitch, I bro. think he got the potential. <laughs> nah, that not Pop, bro. bro. You tripping? Pop, bro? Mm-hmm. No, bro. No, stop. Man, that nigga no, come bro. out. Look, that motherfucker come he out. He ain't out. doing no pop type shit. You not. You know how big uh, Pop is. Bro. Just think about it. Just think about it. Really, he really ain't been in the game. But just say two years, cause you know he was in the game. Nah, and he really. got locked up. Right. And then he come out and he really wouldn't even get a good he got about a month or maybe two worth of run. So you get that man about a five year run. You ain't gonna have no pot impact, bro. Pop was talking about some real shit. I don't know, that nigga. Not that saying hard. he not. Yeah, he yeah, hard. That hard nigga hell. hard as hell. He man. hard in the motherfucker, but you gotta think pop, bro, like you you put now you pop's great. Shoes, I mean bro. pop great. Pop great, but it always gonna be a nigga like like great like pop. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Jay Z. Jay, yeah, Jay, 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 Jay great. Jay is is yeah. So, but I feel what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying for it. Now he may be like but, that in his state, but but I can't say he gonna be like that if he keep getting locked up. Nah, that real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm saying he got the potential. Potential, okay. Yeah, yeah. He not that yet. Right, like right. he not, but he got the potential. Like. Like he can grow, big. just like pop grow. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah. But I don't know. You know, I don't know. You know, he got a lot of things going on, and I can't say how this man think. Cause he don't lost the grandparent, just like you yeah. said. You know, yeah. the man lost the grandparent. Man. He don't got shot all look. You know, a motherfucker like that. Like man, really, man. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just shot him. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He ain't thugging for real. For real, for real, yeah, man. He thugging for real. And nigga um, been through a lot. Didn't him and Finesse two times have some kind of beef or something oh, like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. beef like hell. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what that was about, but you know what I'm saying? He say know. Finesse didn't give him the same type of love he gave Finesse when Finesse was in jail. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Finesse turned their back on him. You know, I don't know that situation. I like both of them. I, I wish both of them keep rapping. They don't have a crowd pass. You know what I'm saying? Or get it together. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Figure it out. Yeah, yeah. You know figure what I'm saying? That shit out. Figure that shit out, man. In like, time, you never know, though. Right, right, right. But then sometimes, man, shit so, be so deep, man. Ain't no ain't no peace in it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, yeah. you know what I'm saying, restoring it, which I hate that. But it be yeah. like that for a lot of these rappers, especially being a rapper, man. You know what I'm saying? Our culture, you know what I'm saying, being a rapper is dangerous. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's so much you already got to be mindful of. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I just don't want to be a situation where, you know what I'm saying, Honey Kong, you know what I'm saying, in a situation, any of these rappers, uh, you know what I'm saying, they in harm's way, they get killed in their own city or by somebody that, right. you know, they beefing with, man, it ain't worth it, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's like now, bro, when I look at it now, 10, 15 years from now, man, you ain't going to really be able to go to a concert to see the rapper now because a lot of them die. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like. The old heads, man, is the ones that's winning right now when it comes to touring. Cause everybody yeah. can go back and see a uh, Kilo, a uh, Sammy Sam, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Goody Ma, yeah. all these histor- out all these historical groups, Wu Tang. Yeah, right. yeah, you can right. go see these guy cause they still around. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? And I just hate where the state of hip hop is right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? As a culture and I feel like we need to get back to, you know, nigga really if you're gonna beef, do it on a record. Mm-hmm. You know, these niggas in the streets with this shit now, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Sex, money, murder type shit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's what they on, and I, you know, I pray that everything can get back on this course, and, you know, we as a people in the culture, bro, we get this shit together, man. Yeah, for real, for real. Real shit, man. So, like I said, man, once again, man, we appreciate y'all, man. We always gonna try to bring the culture together. We gonna always try to, 
mean what we can. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Fuck everything else and fuck everybody else, man. We all about unity over here, yeah, man. That's right, that's right. So definitely, man, like, subscribe, share, comment, hit that notification bell. That's right. And please show us some love because we're going to show you love back. We are people. We will respond. That's right, that's right. You feel me? We out.